Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 77. We're still playing with this collections chart. It's a column chart. and We're going to keep doing a few more things in the Layout tab. Today I want to look at this idea of data labels. You can certainly turn it off. Let's uh, center them. It's, it's hard to see and I'll show you how to format them, but what data labels do is they show you the actual number that the chart is representing. So you can see kind of buried in here is 291,000 and that's what this blue column is and 300 and something thousand is it looks like that 364,000 looks like that. So sometimes particularly if you don't have a ton of data in your chart or a ton of columns or pie slices or bars or whatever going on what you can do is you can uh, use these data labels and there are a couple different ways to put them inside on the end, inside at the base, which is going to be really hard to see in this example, and the outside end way up there. Let's do that and then more data label options. Um, what these will let you do, it, number and fill and border are all very similar to what we've looked at in the past. This number is linked to the source, so the formatting for this 423,000 is the same formatting that I have over here on my chart. That's where it's getting the uh, formatting from is the source. I want to play with alignment here. Vertical alignment, um, text direction, and custom angle. What I'm going to do is you'll notice selected over here is, uh, looks like the blue series is selected. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a negative angle onto this thing of, you know, maybe something like that. And then let's come in here and come to alignment and watch what's happening over here. This negative angle is making this a little bit easier to read. Uh, 16 looks to be about the right number there. And then we'll do this and alignment, drop this over to negative 16. And we're close. So let's click close and we're pretty close here. Problem is that's a little bit I want to drag this up here. And so even though I did the formatting and the the angle, I can kind of make this work. And ouch is kind of in the way. But big picture, you can see what I'm doing here is labeling each of these columns so that you know, particularly if the numbers are critical or you want to make sure that you've got some folks that see visually and some folks that want to see the, the actual numbers in the chart, this is a good way to show both the visual representation of how things are going up, as well as you can see 291,000, 310,000, and 364,000. You can see the progression. All with this data labels area in the Chart Tools Layout tab. That's what I wanted to go through today. Stay tuned. Next time we'll do a data table. A data table is another way to show this data as part of your chart. Thanks for watching.